Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's follow together. Um, today the word is breadcrumbs. It's from like a, an old story. I don't remember the whole story, but it was, uh, they left breadcrumbs so they could find their way back home. Our lives should be leaving breadcrumbs so others can find that, get a taste for the real bread, the bread from heaven, which is Jesus, and find their way back home. Um, I, I've been listening to this song. At, God's given it to me, and it's kind of been like an anthem. And I really like their music. It's Christian rock music, and I'm really into it. And I started looking for more, and they didn't have any. And I'm like, you know, what, why did they stop? So I looked it up, and I found out that the lead singer actually died in a motorcycle accident. Now, that's a tragedy. I, I'm not downplaying that. But it made me think, man. When I was listening to this song, it, it was anointed. God's word endures forever, and it lives on through his, his servants. Even though they might have passed on, and, and they're with him now, their work lives on. And it was a breadcrumb to the presence of God. I don't know about any of you guys. You ever listen to any old uh, hymnals, old uh, teachings, old preachings? And it's just, it just like welcomes you into God's presence. So, so God can speak to you, and touch you, and bless your heart. You know, uh, I believe it was Paul said, you know, God's given us the fivefold ministry. If you're in Jesus, you have a calling. And here's the amazing thing. When, when you eat the bread of heaven, you can be greedy in your eating enough that you're leaving bread comes behind for others so they can find the way back home. Because I believe a lot of us <laughs> along the way start getting distracted, start looking at other things. But breadcrumbs lead the way back home. So you want to live a life, if you say Jesus is your Lord and Savior, which he is, we want to live lives that leave breadcrumbs for others to find their way back home. What's the legacy you're leaving behind? God has works for you, planned from the beginning of time. He knew your resurrection story, when you would come to life in Christ, he made you for a purpose, his design, that you would flourish and spring up like the grass after a rain and then the sun shines on it, that you might raise up and sing the praise of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. So let's not get sidetracked and remember the others that have poured into your life that have left the breadcrumbs in a time when it seemed like there wasn't much to eat. So you could find your way out of that dark and into the light. And, and times when the dark felt like it was encroaching and you needed encouragement. And God used another person to touch your heart. To bring you back into his presence. Back into the journey. Home. So leave breadcrumbs. Eat greedily of the presence of God, but eat sloppily. That's not the advice I would give my daughter at the, at the dinner table. But when you're eating the bread, let some overflow into others' lives. You never know what God will use today and tomorrow through your surrendered life to change your life. In Jesus' name. I just want to pray for the sick really quick. Jesus, if anyone right now listening to these words is undergoing spiritual attack, I pray that you would just unlock destiny into their lives, that you would give them a glimpse of the future, that you would break the chains of oppression in their life. And I pray for physical ailments, that there would be healing in Jesus' name, that ears would hear in Jesus' name, and eyes would see in Jesus' name, that kidney stones would be removed in Jesus' name, that cancer would flee in Jesus' name. Be blessed, everybody.